Today I will show you how I create my how I record my screen. So I use OBS Studio because it is open source, so it's free. So you can download if you are Mac users, you can download Mac. So I am a Windows user, I downloaded the Windows file. Now go to the setup and just install the OBS setup file. Um, this is absolutely free. So I think their latest version they integrate the you can pause the recording while recording. So a lot of features available. Anyway, just install the OBS Studio. Now after this, um, just launch the OBS Studio. You can just click on the finish button. Next, mm, yeah. Anyway, wait for the OBS Studio. Yeah, got it. So you can uh, configure manually, or you can if you press no, you can you have to configure the manual setup. So I will teach you how to configure the manual. So anyway, uh, before starting, you have to create a new scene. I think they already given one new scene. If you don't have scene, just create one scene, then add a project. If you want to record the screen, go to display capture. Here you can see display capture. So just press the OK button. Now select your screen. Right now I am using dual monitor, so that's why it's not visible. So I choose the display two. So just press ok yeah and it's an ipad that's why the screen resolution is different and normally you will get the fit window because almost every monitor is, is full hd display anyway uh, go to setting and go to output you have to change the setting in here in recording section then you can change the recording path and recording quality usually i use high quality medium file size because i don't want high lossless file so i use high quality medium file size and the encoder is mp4 and here uh, mostly i use software h2 uh, into 264 so you can use this setting this is less file size high quality and go to video tab and change the resolution I think right now I am using iPad that's why I change into the 1366-1020 so if you have uh, your monitor if your monitor resolution is 1920-1080 change into that and one more thing the output also the same as base okay now here no need to change and here you can change the FPS usually I use 60 FPS and uh, if you don't want 60 fps video go to 30 then press ok then you can start recording and the newest features is you can uh, pause the recording you can pause the recording so it's very important for me because while creating tutorial is very important now i will show you you can see here post and i just uh, open something and just start the recording again so it's very easy no need to it's not a complicated software very easy software and just stop the recording and go to videos because these are the default location and this is these are the recorded video so I'll show you the quality of the recording so see it's uh, I think it's pretty good because the file size is very only 5 MB but the quality is really nice so thank you